everyone. Feel free to come on down and join us at this end of the hall. It's uh, my pleasure to welcome you to Brockton City Hall for our celebration of Irish Heritage Day. Uh, as I was just uh, discussing with Mr. Brophy earlier, I can say that I am 100% half Irish. <laughs> so, <it's a laughs> so we don't talk about the other half. Uh, but I am very proud of my Irish heritage. We'll talk about that later. Uh, I'd like to uh, open this morning's uh, ceremonies by inviting you to uh, please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, please be seated. At this time, I'd like to uh, invite up Pastor Lemieux. Is Pastor Lemieux here? Here you are. There he is. We went to great lengths to get Pastor Lemieux for St. Patrick's Day, but he, he looks awful Irish to me, so. <laughs> Pastor, good to see you. Please bow your head. Join me in prayer. Father God, we thank you for this beautiful day, for this amazing heritage we are celebrating today. My family set out from County Clare many years ago and found their way here. And when they arrived, it was community, it was family, and it was serving God. That was the centerpiece. And today we honor that and we celebrate that here today. And we pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. So to uh, get us in the, the right frame of mind, I'd like to uh, invite our special musical guests, Alfie O'Shea and Amy Corum, uh, to play a number for us, guys. This is an old Irish famous song. It's called the Wild Rover. just in a few minutes. Uh, I do want to uh, mention some of the elected officials that, who are here, and I do want to uh, send regrets from both uh, State Representative Cronin and State Representative Cassidy. Both have committee hearings this morning in at the State House that uh, prevented them from uh, being able to attend this year. Uh, but we do have from the Southeastern Regional School Committee, Mark Lindy is here with us. 
Ward 7 City Councilor Shirley Asak is here. And uh, representing the state delegation, the dean of the delegation, who I'd like to invite up to make some remarks, State Senator Mike Brady. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you to our elected officials and everyone who showed up today. I know it's a very busy schedule. We call this not just St. Patrick's Day, which is going to be celebrated tomorrow, Saturday, but it's the High Holy Month in the month of March. And uh, there's a lot of events going on. Um, and I want to, uh, as the mayor mentioned, uh, acknowledge our House of Representative members, Jerry Cassidy, Claire Cronin, and Michelle Dubois. They had a busy day doing business in the State House yesterday, and they're busy today in the State House. And then there's also many, many events going on all over the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, as we know. Uh, we were fortunate yesterday, we passed some legislation to protect animals' rights and protect animals, and it was a very important legislation. Um, because you, you see the abuse that goes on with how people treat animals and uh, we want to protect animals' rights as, as well as human rights. And we look back at our Irish heritage and um, the immigrants, which America is all about, immigrants. I, I am three quarters Irish and a, almost a quarter French and a smidgen American Indian, but um, I'm very honored to be an elected official from the area in Brockton, the South Shore, in my Irish heritage. My, uh, my mother was full-blood Irish, Durkin was from County Mayo, their family. That goes back three generations. I missed one generation to get dual citizenship. So, And then my father being Brady, but my father's mother was French-Canadian in between Canada and the United States. There was some Indian blood as well. But we did have a great time. And Alfie O'Shea, I, I'm glad to see Alfie and Amy here because the two of them sound a little better than when we get up with the council court, so they're saving us today. But... Um, Alf, yes, but uh, Alfie and uh, a group of us went back to the old country in Ireland several years ago. John McCluskey, uh, another good friend who's an attorney in Brockton, booked a trip for the Galway Oyster Festival. And no one in my family had been back for the many, many generations. And what a great festive occasion it was. Great back to see the old country, learn about our heritage and our history of our family. And uh, we, we had a few oysters over there, amongst other things we won't mention, but, uh, but we had a great, wonderful time and a great group of friends from the Brockton area. I know Mayor Harrington came with us one year and Freddie McDermott and a couple of the Creighton boys, and we had a wonderful, wonderful time. And I'm trying to talk to McCluskey to go back, because we're overdue for another trip to go back. And uh, we were, they were so welcoming and it was wonderful. But a lot of Irish immigrants came to this country to escape the famine in Ireland and escape the persecution of what the British had kind of kept the Irish people down for many, many years, and we must never forget. And a lot of other families from other countries came to America to get their freedom and escape persecution and so forth. And we can never forget and support all our immigrants in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in the United States of America. And many have become citizens. Many ran for public office. Many served in the police and the fire departments and public safety and everyone else. And uh, there's a few that still work in city government here. So I want to thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for hosting this event. And thank you and we must continue to support all the people of America and work forward to make this Commonwealth a better place. So God bless you. Amen. Oh, thank you, Senator. Now, I knew about the Irish heritage. I didn't know about the Native American heritage. Now, are you related to Senator Warren? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know I was going to yeah, <laughs> I saw you left that one hanging out there. That was just too easy. Yeah, uh, no, thank you very much, Senator. Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Wrong tribe. Yeah, uh, it is. Uh, it is. Uh, I really did appreciate the senator's remarks. Um, I, uh, my mother's side of the family, my mother was 100% Irish, and uh, her parents came here as young children, but. Um, my Irish roots trace back to County Clare and County Sligo, is where my mother's side of the family is from, who are Man Reedy, Mannings, O'Shea's, Keneally's. So that's the, most of the family that I grew up with, the other side of the family is very small and, and uh, not around. So uh, I certainly uh, enjoy celebrating this day and uh, celebrating my Irish lineage uh, as well. And I thought that the, uh, Senator's remarks were 
right on spot in terms of relating the experience of the Irish coming to this country in the second half of the 19th century and the early 20th century. Uh, the Irish experience was no different than any of the other immigrant groups that have come to this country since. And, um, you know, the Irish certainly were an underclass. Uh, no Irish need apply was an acceptable uh, phrase and sign to have in a business. Uh, Irish were targets of ethnic slurs, just like most immigrant groups who come here. And um, although I have actually used the word paddy wagon myself a few times, uh, it, it, it's indicative of the, of the slurs that were directed uh, towards uh, false stereotypes of the Irish people. And uh, I think that as we celebrate these different heritage and flag days through the course of the year here, in Brockton, you know, what makes our city great is we are the true American melting pot, and we are uh, the American dream in the city of Brockton, and we're a city that immigrants have been coming to for over 100 years, and uh, the reasons uh, our forefathers came here are the same reasons why people come here today. Freedom of religion, freedom of political persecution, uh, economic opportunity, and I think a universal desire that uh, our children would enjoy a better life uh, than us. And uh, that's uh, the reasons we've all come here. But I think it's, um, I share with some of the newer, my friends in the newer immigrant groups, a little bit of Irish history. And uh, I was talking to a school group recently and explained to them, and I was a very, very young child at the time uh, President Kennedy was elected. Uh, but I remember even as a child growing up, you know, my grandparents' house, you know, they had two photos on the wall, the Pope and JFK. I think it was probably no different than a lot of Irish households. Uh, and, uh, um, but in terms of, in this country, as we witnessed firsthand how important it was to the African American community when President Obama was elected, it was just as significant to the Irish community, and particularly the Irish Catholic community, when President Kennedy was elected. That, that was another huge barrier that was, was broken down by President Kennedy. And I think kids growing up now, just you know, 50 years later, don't really appreciate uh, that, that, how much that meant and still means uh, to Irish Americans. So in any event, before we get back to another musical selection, we raise the Irish flag, uh, down at the other end of the hall. I do want to issue an official proclamation today uh, on behalf of the city of Brockton. Do we have the proclamation? Here we do. I'm so concerned about losing a copy of it, I have three versions of it up here. Um, so this is a, a, I hereby proclaim Whereas the vibrant and rich heritage of the Irish people have helped shape many chapters in the history of Brockton. And whereas from green shores, generations of Irish men and women set across an ocean seeking a new life in America. And whereas today thousands of Brocktonians proudly trace their heritage to the Emerald Isle. And whereas today the city of Brockton and Ireland enjoy a thriving and cooperative bond buoyed by a strong legacy of Irish immigrants and descendants making their mark on this city. And whereas it is Irish Heritage Day, let us pay tribute to the extraordinary mark Irish Americans have made on Brockton and on St. Patrick's Day. Never question whether someone is or is not Irish. So now therefore be it resolved that I, Bill Carpenter, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim Today, March 16th, as Irish Heritage Day in the city of Brockton, I urge all residents of the city to recognize this momentous occasion and all the wonderful contributions our Irish population has made to our city. And uh, Alfie is the most Irish guy I think we've got in the place here today. So Alfie, I'm going to invite you up to accept this proclamation. Oh, thank you very much, <laughs> Mayor. Thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. So we Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Yeah, that's for you. All right. That's for you. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, so what I'd like to do now is, Senator, if you could uh, give me a hand and, and uh, counsel whoever else would like to join us. Uh, while we enjoy another musical selection uh, from Amy and Alfie, uh, we'll uh, raise the Irish flag down at the other end of the hall in front of the mayor's office, and, uh, and that will then uh, conclude our ceremony here this morning. But thank you very much for being here with us. And uh, as the Senator said, this is one of many, many celebrations of Irish heritage that will take place uh, over the next several days, and uh, I look forward to seeing you at uh, many of them. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you.